Hello and welcome to game two between Night Hunter, he's the purple dark elf. With ah, going back to the standard, triple woodcutter into hunting cabin. Okay, enough. Maybe we don't see the spicy gameplay we've seen from him in this tourney already. Versus one of the best dark elves in business, Vic, in the top corner. Going with a triple woodcutter into hunting cabin as well. Yes. But Guardian of Nor, I think we still had the Reaper from Night Tanta. No. Okay. So we have a good old Building mirror match completed. on the most mirror matchy map available. So both sides not gonna be able to afford to pull any punches. So whoever gets ahead, it's gonna be nice and ahead. <laughs> Even Spectre on Spectre action. That's something you don't see very often. Oh, I unfortunately turned around. So that's a nice win for Night Hunter. The vision game and no slowdown for him. See if he bothers to slow, uh, slow, move his Spectre over. Very, very interesting. There's this one sound. It's this is this whoop that we just heard. It reminds me of Gothic. Most Germans in chat will remember. But Gothic is the shit. And that reminds me, it's like a, it's, it's a similar, it's one of those stock sounds that just pops up every now and then. And then you just get transported back in time. And it's good shit. Gothic Warden 2 are uh, fucking amazing. So that's the nice thing about uh, Soul Explosion with uh, one brute force, it's because it enables your spiders if you hit it properly to just one shot the boys afterwards, even though it didn't quite get the clean execution of, on it this time here. Oh, wait. Oh no, I think the Medusa sectors for some ex unexplicable reason still display Echo here, which is kind of interesting. I'm not sure, I think I've been told that this is not a Soul Harvest map. So I'm not quite sure what that's about. I don't know if that's like a, was it was even a thing in Soul Harvest, that Echo was in some, in some certain sectors. I guess for campaign reasons, maybe you would have. Oh no! No, the Spoda! Spoda explodes in a gust of green venom and blood. But I love how they just glow. They have a glowing butt. Like a truck stop. Or like truck lights. That's the purple one, it's just a good old marking. It's like a neon sign. Of the Church of Nor. <laughs> so they don't bother putting up shields, they're just hanging the spiders out on the wall. When night arrives, with glowing eyes, so that's nightmare fuel for an, any, every arachnophobe in chat here. Actually, I think Amer uh, is it Americans or the English that always pronounce that ugh, with a hard K, so it would be arachnophobe, I guess. Brother, get ready. There's work to be done. Is there now? But are your nails rusty? That's the real question. And could you get me some new ones? We shall see, we shall see. <laughs> Cheeky steal here by Vic. Making use of his teleportability. Very nice. Speaking of. Looks like Night Hunter with the block explosion builds. And we have more of a power explosion build to teleport from Vic. So every little advantage here counts. So he's trying to solo the flag. And he should get it. And he might get some spiders on top of it, which might be a problem here for Night Hunter if he's not careful. Okay, Night Hunter keeps the flag. But needs to pull out the, the, weak, the weak spiders. Very good. I think he only lost one. He, no, actually, he hasn't lost a single one. Very nice. And we've got some spiders going a wall over there. Let's see if they're after something. Uh, they could find a woodcutter. Let's see if Night Hunter's micro is on top here. If he pays attention to multiple spots. So first spider goes down. Ah, uh, both of them not quite properly being able to pull off the split micro here. Ooh, that was pretty close. So Vic all the way... Ah, over there. Okay, goes to, off to the Medusas now. 
Without a healing potion though. Our boy needs to that could be if he's Ready. if he forgets about that. If he thinks he has a healing potion and doesn't, we might have problems. But very nice, gets the scout post, even upgrades it to a frontier post. So Naitata is gonna try and be happy with that. Oh okay, now realizes Yikes. He's living on the edge here. Because these these girls don't care. I think he's dead. And he's dead indeed. But Night Hunter should be far enough away to not get XP from that. So in fact, it basically just gives him uh, his full health back. But it's a bit awkward to kill. Yeah, he doesn't really have the power to kill these off without losses. Because as long as your corpse is there, you still gain XP. But it's still pretty unclear how long, etc. So it's a bit weird like that. So Night Hunter, not quite realizing that he has a bit of a break here. Is he in panic mode? That's the big question. So he's not going for some deuces. Yeah, the repair's too strong. Dark Elf Siege, best siege. Kappa. So double Hall of Pain. We have the capital already up. We have a pretty hefty wood deficit, but the iron mines are coming up nonetheless. Versus Vic with a 24 and 12 spiders, 24 pop cap and 12 spiders. The capital is just coming up with no hall of pain and nothing else. Very interesting. But has the psychological damage been enough? That is the big question. Also, I might lose some decent amount of spiders here if we're not careful. So the magic girl is going down. Yeah, Medusas have a weird delay on their damage. Doesn't quite sync up with their animations. But gets it up relatively decent. And Night Hunter just finishing off our lovely Greek temptresses here. The Gorgon, as man, some people would call it. Someone, I, I remember someone on in the official Discord getting really mad that these are called Medusa because Medusa was just the ba I think the first Gorgon and the most dangerous and the most well known. And I'm not sure. I think she was actually in mythology. She was the only one who could turn people into stone. It wasn't a common thing of Gorgons themselves. So it's a bit like the wife and dragon de debate that you always see creeping up. In essence, if you make the setting, you kind of make the rules. So if you want to call the Medusas, call the Medusas. You will see. Oh, we've got a little bit of a scout spider. Ah, okay, no, the teleport came in. But Night Hunter is going to get this. So relatively even. And Night Hunter is a little bit faster on the tier 2. So if he can transition that into some quick sleepers. He might get somewhere. We also have... Oh no, I thought it was a spire. Building so we're getting a complete. dark temple up. We have a forge up. Vic still hasn't gotten anything out of his tier 2. Well, apart from some iron mines coming up, of course. But they're gonna take a while, so they're just building... Oop, pardon. Also 70 fuel food float, and the Hall of Pain is just building. Pop down as we spoke. But, yeah, Night Hunter a little bit with the pop lead. But it's also all in spiders for the time being. Oh, okay. Looks like he wants to give Vix a taste of his own medicine and just trying to do a chat better. We shall see. That should be pretty interesting. Oh, uh, actually upgrading the iron mine here. I'm not quite sure if that's going to count as repairing then, actually. I think the guys that build it still have to come over. Oh no, they're building it from the inside. Okay. Meanwhile, we just have a slap fest going on here. So we might as well go cinematic. Boink, boink. In fact, look, looks like whenever they fight each other, it looks like they're trying to give each other headbutts. Oh, it goes for the single bind. Oh, there comes the magic damage. Which is not something you should be very fond of. Only 10 resistance to it. Speaking of which, Night Hunter has been at the shop. Versus Wick. Had to buy, he did have to buy potions. So he's a bit late on everything. 
Such a calm music map as well. It's just like no fight music. Just all this chill in the land of the Dark Elves. The question is, does Night Hunter have a Spire? He's always very late on the Spire, so still no Spire up there. But neither does Vic. Build-wise... We're holding down a point here. Let's see how that's invested. And Night Hunter did not hold back a point. On these maps where it takes a little while to take get level 5, I always feel like holding back that point. It depends how you want to deal with it, but I feel like it's better to invest it. And then just try to get the golem. Alright, Spy of Souls goes on probably first for Vic. Oh no, we got it. There it is. All the, all the way over to the east. Can we... I don't think we can see souls on free spectating. Which is a bit of a shame. But what we can check we out are, are those lovely armies. So two beetles up, 33 sporters. Only three infiltrators. So Night Hunter in a decent position, but... Vic with the map advantage. So it's, it confuses me so much because like all insects I ever know do not have slow wing beats. So not having these brrr long just makes it seem really really off. <laughs> but well, you get that for the magic damage. Let's see if that's enough. So nice targeting there. Relatively quick reflex there by Night Hunter, pulling them back. Very good. Oh, nice firebomb. But there's a heal sack from Night Hunter. Very nice to counter. That basically just tops them off. Just fine. Gets an iron mine for his troubles. Ready and willing. Five beetles up now. He does not have any souls yet. Speaking of red shadow, uh, this point is coming along. Okay, Vic coming in with the these guys as well. Oh, nice! Getting the hold of pain will be pretty huge. Frontier post is not microed on the beetle, so that gets to live. Very nice. Oh, maybe now. Nope, not quite. Might have some hot beetle on beetle action soon. Did Night Under get some souls? It doesn't look like it. Damn, Vic with the float. But he doesn't have the infrastructure to actually produce much. So we'll see how that goes out. Also, has bought another uh, seeing totem. Have you... It doesn't look like you picked up any souls. Yeah, no, no none in store. Uh, we do have some producing here. So Vic getting the better of the soul trade yet again. Does Vic have his... He does. So he can teleport on the top of that. Does he have the army to do so? He does have six beetles himself now. Nighthun does keep his back. Uh, what's going on over here? Okay, nothing special. Just rebuilding the Halls of Pain. Doesn't go for the golem. It's very interesting. Nice use of the beetles here. Since we saw the micro there. To attack them. He just decided to push those outlying buildings. Which, unfortunately for him, is actually le letting these carriers pick up those resources. Ah! But he just gets them before they arrive. So Vic doesn't quite get them back. So there we go. Now, basically, Night Hunter definitely stabilized. Vic is still holding back that point. Just give the word. Pot-wise, we're pretty Ready even. And willing. Um, Vic has a level 2 armor now. I don't think Night Hunter has been to the... Sh been able to go to the shops. No, no. Yes. And it's gonna be a fight for the golem. Okay, it needs to be very careful with spiders. They just get karate chopped by this extraordinary gentleman from outer space. Could just leave the beetles on it. And just tank it. Like, just pull all of the spiders back, tank it with the hero. 
Oh! <laughs> Holy be Jesus. Okay, it gets the heal sack, but it's a level 1 heal sack, and it's in the back. Heal sack in the back is not quite pulling his weight. But here come the big beetles. Night Hunter's beetles. Hot beetle on beetle action. Oh, there's... I think Vic's beetles are too far forward. Oh no, Night Hunter! Did Night Hunter just teleport out? Ready and willing. Oh, that was so lucky. Only, le only left with like half his army here. We but I think strength. he traded up. But oh, the Ring of Serenity goes to the... Oh no, goes to Night Hunter. Very nice job. He got it. And XP wise, he got most of it. So Vic's still on level 4. So big win for Night Hunter, except for the territory. But he should be happy with that. Also, I think pop wise, he pulled ahead too. Yeah, 120, 104 versus 124. Six beetles and six infiltrator versus eight beetles and 14 infiltrators. So, still an even game. But Night Hunter slightly ahead. Yeah, there are these weird unclaimed echoes. I wonder if you would just. If you would just put a spire there, if you would actually be able to get some. I think that's the only thing he's lacking, is souls, compared to his opponent. Let's check the upgrades, because that should mean... Yeah, we've got all the upgrades here done for Vic, and I, th I have a slight feeling that that is not the case for Night Hunter. So Vic's army is more potent than Night Hunter's. But Night Hunter's is certainly bigger. Let's see if it just depends on how you use it. Oh, but the Guardian! The Guardian! The Guardian's getting curb stomped. Oh, very nice block! With the teleport. 46 health! Oh, that could be such a bait! Okay, nice. He did leave most of his army back there. And I think his was targeting Vic's army first. So, Night Hunter pulling ahead here. It's not about the upgrades, it's about how you use them. General, I'm sorry, I'm never gonna get technology. rid of any of these induendos anytime soon. Oh, there's a lot of beetles going down here for Vic. Oh, that's a disaster. That was a really, really bad fight for Vic. Really, really bad. Ah, the sleepers, the sleepers! Yikes! He's coming for your booty! And he stabs you in the face with three fucking spears. I love it. Definitely putting Night Hunter in the driver's seat here. Let's see what he's gonna do on the back end of this. I just go for the golem, honestly. Or, well, I, first of all, I would take all of these souls. But I think he lost his. Uh, boy. The soldier boy. Ah, let's just enjoy this. Keep an eye on how many kills these beetles get. They do have to cleave. So this is a bit risky here for Night Hunter. And he's gonna lose a lot of beetles if he doesn't pay attention to the Border Fortress. So this could be a classic Dark Elf Siege throw. 99 versus 30. So he's still very much ahead. But Border Fortress are no joke. 150 magic damage on a 0.5 attack speed. Oh god! Vic's Guardian of Nord goes down again. Level 7. Oh, but my Hunter needs to get the souls. The souls, man. But he's full on producing. Versus Vic is probably... Ah, oh, there we go. That's the soul train. Oh, wait. We need to go to Night Hunter's perspective, I think. Uh, okay, that was very much less impressive than it should have been. That was weird. But this time... Yeah, Night Hunter's production much better. This time... Vic has too many production facilities. They're attacking the workers. There we go. There, now there's a good soul train. Whee! Beautiful. They're and that certainly is going to put Knight under the driver's seat now completely. All his upgrades are going to come in. Yeah, both of them. Scion trying his little best. That board of water is just being an absolute champ. That's what I say, just go after the golem, get another territory. Wait for the basilisks. He 
does have to fight for the souls, that much is correct. But this is costing him a lot of beetles. And I think Vic knows that. He's probably experienced it too much on his own side. But the Border Fortress, oh, just the repair is so strong. And the Dark Elf Siege is so weak. Oh, there we go. Okay, good. Gets pretty much all of the souls that have been fought for here. So that's a huge win for Night Hunter, even if he does not get it. But he does get it. And that's a lot of production down. And it looks like he's gonna take it for now. Yeah, he's gonna wait for the rest of his army. <laughs> One lonely sleeper. Run, boy, run. There you go. That wing flapping is just too slow. It's just... I have cognitive dissonance looking at beetles. With that sound. Oh god, don't lose all your sleepers here, though. Ooh. Ooh, are they just out of range of the cleave for the most part? Oh, that I got completely impaled. Alright, lost a lot, couple of unnecessary boys there, but... Oh! That, my friends... Ah, where is it? That is Noya's command. So that's gonna make him very much boom explosion-y. So that goes from 195 to... We will see. Come on, equip it! Do it, Anakin! Do it! 195, 195, 195, to what, to what, to what? Show us. Show us. Show us the goodies. Re also, hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, even getting the Exalted Father's eyes, which do not have any eyes. And 10 fucking health potions. Jesus Christ. Why not? Building completed. As well as some slowing orbs. Because why not? 243, that's a 60 damage increase in magic damage. That is fucking beautiful. Noah's command, probably the most powerful item in the game. Especially on a druid, it becomes ridiculous. But I'll let you see for yourself soon, I assume, in this tournament. Maybe you've seen it on Naka's channel already. Who knows? Who knows? But that is beautiful. 169. Nice. Nine beetles, two bazis. Decent amount of sleepers, no spiders in the front line anymore. But we do have Yoshi Riders, so it's pretty much a complete role reversal from the last one. Nine beetles, six sleepers, I want to say. But uh, level nine versus five. Speaking of which, what did he invest in? Okay, health, cooldowns, blocking momentum, no level two, which I'm very surprised by. Especially Soul Catharsis, just making you immune to afflictions, really good against Dark Elves. Which, coincidentally, this is a, that's a lot of spinning swords. So if anyone can't, you, if, if you can't sleep at night, you just load up this VOD, and then you watch these guys on a loop, and you just try to follow one sword at a time, until you snooze off. Sleeper ASMRs, that's what I call sleepers. Fun fact. They just make you snooze off one sword, two sword, three sword. <laughs> Basilisks are just fucking off wherever. Because they don't want to do their jobs here. Oh, but the beetles are doing a number of honest sleepers here. It's pretty painful. I have no idea how I got rid of it now. While still keeping his... Oh, Night Hunter's Guardian just went down in a jiffy. That was brutal, but... Oh, no! And the good old Dark Elf Siege row. You can't siege as a Dark Elf before you've dealt with the army. And there was a prime example. So just Vic coming in with the experience. Baiting Night Hunter in. And also just deleting his hero very quickly. And that's why I said level 2 soul catharsis would have been probably... Pretty nice. Because he's probably got plague fielded into a complete annihilation blow up from the backline. 
These guys are pretty nasty when the target's bleeding. And I don't think Night Hunter has enough to force the counter throw here. I'm seeing some Yoshis mixed in. But there, there we go. Like, these guys are not bleeding anymore, so the, the Yoshis are not doing extra damage. As well as the backline can't... I don't think they have to upgrade yet, but... Um, oh, they actually ha don't have it. Oh, the counter! Maybe it is a counter throw. That's a lot of souls to pick up. Also, like, just uh, the orange is so good. It's so glowy. Versus the purple is nice, but it's not quite as... Mwah. Not quite as... Mwah. So, throws and counter throws. Dark Elf life. And that's the shortest soul harvest ever. <laughs> just... Just like a... Like, uh, imagine this is like a spaghetti slurping machine. Just... Nom, 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 nom. Probably with some parmesan on top of them soles. And I think they both lost their border fortress, so. But Vic should be a bit quicker in terms of rebuilding since he's had a little bit of more time. We will see, we will see. It's pretty spicy. That's a lot of wicked ones. Oh, what are they called? Twisted ones, not wicked ones. Building Do not have to weaken. Might be a problem. We don't also don't have the Yoshi upgrade. Which Vic... Vic has the Yoshi upgrade, but not the uh, Twisted one as well. Finally getting his... We either have a no equip. There we go. Uh, but Night Hunter with the Nazgul mask. It's just not quite as intimidating because it, uh, it's like it just looks like an archway, honestly, rather than a nefarious hood. How but let's see who builds the most scary army. So very long plague beetles, but sixteen goddamn twisted ones. Jesus Christ, Night Hunter. Whereas the Svik with sixteen Yoshi's, six plague beetles, and seven twisted ones. <laughs> and Traki approving the counter throws in chat. <laughs> Excellent man there. Let's see who prevails. Orange versus purple. Pump this is this is a this is a orange map. The pumpkin patches are here to prove it. And before I find something purple. This here has honorary been named by by best friend. The Mad Hat Gap, because I kept killing him on it with the druid. Mm. It was beautiful. But so far these boys are just gonna be ignoring that and going after some mushroom farms or kind of just looks like corpse farms, let's be honest. Okay, I'm very, very interested to see what these twisted ones can do. They do have their upgrade, but how much... Okay, we do have some bleeding options, so we should get the weaken in and it's a pretty strong one. Um, which... wait, ah wait, it shows up if I go here. So minus 20... Oh wow, it's an impair, weaken, we and bleed? We need to improve our outposts. No, apply weakened. Okay, minus 25 weakened, yeah. And just if it has bleeding, yeah. We have no more room for troops. We need to Hang on. Our Does the impair and bleeding weaken stack? So would it go down to minus 50? I No, that can't be right. I find that hard to believe. Yes. Uh, very dangerous positioning here, though. We're under attack. Good old backs are turned. Oh, do we see the, the target in? Oh, this could be... I don't even know what that's gonna be. But I guess we'll find out. How the hell did I do it? How the hell did I get rid of it? I did it automatically from brain memory. Or like muscle memory. But I can't now remember how I got rid of this without getting rid of the... Health bars. Dang it. Alright, that's a problem for Night Hunter. But Night Hunter... Oh, he's not fast enough. So he needs to stop now attacking the border fortress. Needs to stop affecting the border fortress. Oh, he throw, gets counter throwing. This could be a disaster. Okay, I think he stopped. But similar issue again. Twisted ones were up in front. Let's check out. We have some decent weakening on the front line here against Orange. 
137 in the middle of it. 141, so very even trade so far. Vic has the shorter range in terms of replenishment. Or like... Regrouping here. Oh, but the purple seems to be pulling out. Vic! By the way, also... Oh no, Night Hunter was just running away with a level 10. Oh, he's so low! 225. There we go, Guardian of Noor gets focus drained, by the way. Something these boys do as well. So it looks like Night Hunter just came out ahead for the time being. But this is not good siege damage yet again. Oh, th this border fort is just gonna do so much damage to this backline. As well as all of these... Ah, it's just waited too long. You can't fight this with potential. But here comes the counter throw. Oh, he, he went back in and died for it. Guardian of Norn. Does he have a pop-up? He does. Man, oh man, these guys are just playing a game of StarCraft here. No unit preservation whatsoever. Not my kind of game. One HP and he bleeds out. The Yoshis did their job. So Vic overall getting ahead here. Since he did manage to get the Great Dark Ensign, but he didn't grab this. And for a second I thought the game was going to end, but it just lagged a bit. And <laughs> maybe the, the Harvesters are Italian. They do have their hand up. They're just uh, spaghetti providers for the Spire of Souls. It also does look like a mouth. It's like a perfectly shaped, long snouted mouth. It's like an anteater. A spaghetti anteater. Coming out of the ground with a rotating mouth. Ready to slurp up all the spaghetti that the harvesters provide. That's my hat cannon now, and nobody is ever going to change that. Oh, we're getting rid of the farms here. Looks like he doesn't expect to hold this. Or this was an accident. Or he needs once more production? No, he should have enough. Looks, ah, looks like he just wants more iron. Because he is running out. 262 in this sector. 65 left in this. Uh, this is just... Yeah, this is just tier 3. Which doesn't help Dark Elves at all. 145 in here. Versus... How's Vic doing on iron? So 47 there. 162 there, and still 277 in the middle. And Night Hunter with a level 10 hero is gonna take a while. There he comes. Oh shit! 67 seconds for level 10 boy. Okay, still hasn't upgraded this, interestingly. Uh, there is a thing like um, if you leave these buildings alive, you can teleport to them. So it can be risky to just upgrade that. You might just lose resources. But does so now. Uh, 164 with... I think most of that is just going to be invested. Yeah, indeed. Versus Vix. Ooh, 200. Vix in the lead and still 200 in the bank. With holy Jesus. Wow. Look at that production tab. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten halves of pain. And four dark temples. That is very impressive. Let's see. Do we see a throw here? Oh, Scions. Being micro back. Nicely done. That Yoshi's doing a little bit of a sidestep there. Here come the Scions. Are they micro Uh Getting a bit wasted on the spiders here. Okay, that was better. Let's have a little check we do here. Hang on. How are the heroes? I can't see them. Level 10 down here. Teleports into the middle. Slowing orb. Oh, we have some Skelly boys coming up. So we have the flying boys somewhere. I can't even see them. Oh, they're right in the middle. Goes down now. I'm not even sure. I think Vic is ahead. He's getting this. Or better said, he was losing the fight. But look at that minimap. The conga line is coming in. 
Lots of spires of souls being built here. Does he have the upgrade? He does have the harvest upgrade. Holy Jesus. The spaghetti slurping is on the way. Oh, Night Hunter Blue Daddy. I didn't see it coming. And here he is. He got buffed. Both Guardians go down. So the Titan is actually going to do things. It's amazing. Hasn't activated the ability yet. So it's still one of the worst Titans, but at least we have a Titan game in one of this high, in a high class game as well. So that was finally he got to hit something. And if he hits and the target dies shortly after, it actually explodes for magic damage. Which is pretty impressive. Unfortunately, the rest of the army is not quite... Oh wait, actually, no. This is mostly purple. So it's working. And these harvesters are yeah. tanking with 1000 HP. That's why you build shit tons of spies in the late game. Because it just gives you bodies. There's a, another spaghetti slurping! Oh my god, yes! That was deliciously Italian. Prêt à manger. Le soul's coming in. A soul kitchen is coming up. There we go. That's what That was the, the joke I was looking for. Spider Daddy is on the march. Shelob and the Mouth of Sauron had a very tough night out and too much to eat. Too much cake. But I like him big, I like him chunky. And we're gonna call him Modo Modo. Just for that. And we have a lot of these little spiders, which are hilarious because they're like from this... Basically... They haven't been changed since Soul Harvest, so they have very weird stats. But that is so... That's why he didn't have any resources. And he's still very healthy and regenerating. So Spider Daddy is doing things! It's amazing! I like him big. I like him chunky. Oh yeah! I do indeed. And here he comes. Boink! With incredible damage. He's so disappointing in pretty much every regard, but you just gotta love him when you see him. Uh, we have a nice little head off here. <laughs> the harvest is tanking. The harvest is just buying so much time with their 1000 HP for free. That is hilarious. The wall of harvest is... He's just keeping his entire army at bay. What a game. And it's amazing. Wait, can Spider Spider Daddy can hit air? That is beautiful. Oh yeah, he comes. Moto Moto is at it again. And Vic is getting out of here. He said enough of this. Night Hunter now, now that the Titan is out, immediately back up to 200 pop cap. 20 Twisted Ones, 13 Striders, 30 Spider Links, by the way. Let's quickly check out their stats. 500 have really good strike damage, actually. But they are terribly slow. But aren't they fucking cute? Are they not extremely cute? Is he actually retaliating with his own? No, that would have been hilarious. But the army is just... So, so, we have a seeing totem somewhere. Oh, Spider Daddy! Moto Moto is going for it! Let's just enjoy this in all its glory. I don't think there's much that Vic can do at the moment. Look at all these little spiders sieging down the outpost! This is where, this, the, this is where the Dark Elf Siege has been lurking all along. It's in the strike damage of these spider links. Going for some spaghetti action here. The soul kitchen has been opened. Uh, but I think he can't come back can't come back for seconds. I wanna see that soul I wanna see that explosion thing. So he, uh, that's the debuff. Now we just need to see him die. And he doesn't. Oh! Did Vic actually get Night Hunter? No. And Vic calls a GG, and Moto Moto pulls out the win. Night Hunter with the Spider Daddy action. Just look at that shit-eating grin. 
Ah, yeah. And that was a beautiful game. And it's 1-1 one, one in this wonderful, wonderful series. Amazing. Probably best mirror we've ever had. So things are definitely spicy. I hope everybody's entertained, because I am most certainly very even game, all in all. Beautifully done. Look at that, that's neck on neck. Can't ask for a better spell for this game than this. Especially in the mirror. Now, even the hero damage is pretty damn good, and Night Hunter doing really well in that regard. Better than the veteran today, today. Look at those fights. Just one time this the one side gets it, the, then the other side, then both throw. <laughs> and then Spider Daddy claims the victory. Very, very nice. Well done to both of them. And I'll see you all in game number three.